it's me. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Palm Plant Girl. This is my video blog, and I won't have this on my website, but you will find it here on YouTube. It's only a little tiny segment, but it's for all of you, especially those who are my subscribers. Hey, first of all, I want to say hello to Sherry in Kentucky. Do I have that right? KY, Kentucky? Uh, you know, and she, she can really relate with a lot of stuff I talk about. I've um, been talking a lot about depression and... There she goes again, my dog, Cindy. Depression and having to do... Hi, honey. Yeah, I'm online. Who are you talking to? Nobody, I'm on camera, though. Oh, let me bring the dog there. Okay. Bye, guys. Uh, and uh, disabilities and how to garden um, uh, with, with disabilities. And so stay with me and I'll come up with some uh, new ideas. I'll try to come up with new ideas each week. Um, this morning though I got up, I was moving slowly. And so I'm sitting down and I'm drinking my coffee. And it wasn't this cup. I don't know if I can ever drink out of that other cup ever again, but I'm drinking my coffee. I'm going, oh, this is so good. Oh, mm, mm. good coffee, good coffee. And so I, I get to the bottom like this, you know. And you know what I see? This is my very last sip. I see a big, fat fly. I came this close to swallowing the fly. I don't know why. It was in my cup of coffee. It was really gross, huh? Disgusting. It wasn't your cup. It was my cup. It was really gross. No, no. They love the realism. Ah, so anyway, that was really gross. But I have swallowed a fly before, and uh, I'd like not to think about that. And a few other bugs, too, I think. What about the bottle of soda? No, I'm not telling them about that. That's disgusting. That's for, like, I'll tell you about the bottle of soda, like the after dark version of the palm plant girl. So, <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as my little video blog, I will try to show you some new and unusual plants that you two can have in your garden, and, you, and your neighbors will be jealous. And the one for this week, I've got star grass, which is super cool. It's grass that has stars on top. In the jungle, the jungle. Look at it, check it out. Let's get it close to the camera. Oops. Well, the fan's kind of blowing it around. Pretty, pretty. It's got, it's got, grass stuff on the bottom and it is, it is a bog plant so it's got grass on the bottom and then these long slender reeds that go up and I believe it's zone this is a zone six but it goes to hotter zones too and it has these cool little star like hi Ashley you got her toy hi baby has these star like flowers on the top with little puff balls and then the tips and I'll post a picture here for you to see in a second. It ha the tips have these uh, little green tips on them. Here we go. It's really pretty. It's very pretty. So very nice. So if you'd like some star grass, just let me know and send me an email. Okay, as you can see behind me, see back there? Can you see that? I've got that bottle that I put the pineapple sticker on and it's feeding my spider plant. Um, I don't need to do that, but it's working out. My other thought was is to, if you make yourself a water bottle for your plant, sometimes you want to put a plant way up high where you can't reach it and you have to get a ladder to water it and it's a real pain in the you know what. So um, I thought, well that's another neat use for the uh, plant water bottle and so you don't have to get up there as often, maybe once a month, I'm guessing, depending on the size of bottle you have to, um, to, to give it some more water. So that's another idea for you. So anyway, send me your suggestions and your ideas. I'll share them here online. And that's it. Just wanted to show you the star grass, share about the fly, and uh, I gotta go make some chicken for dinner. Gonna roast it in the oven. All right, hey, I appreciate all of you. Stay just the way you are. You're wonderful, you really are. 
talking, happy ponding, and happy gardening. I'll see you next time real soon, all right? Thanks. Bye-bye. Uh, everything's under control, situation normal.